Hello golfers everywhere. Today I would like to introduce you to a revolutionary new app for the iPhone called iAnalyze Golf. It's the swing analyzer for the iPhone. Basically iAnalyze is about analyzing and comparing sequences of photos that you've captured either with your iPhone or with another camera either individually or side by side. On this main screen you can see we have two areas where you can select a golfer and view his or her sequences. In this first frame I can just load the golfer that I want to analyze, in this case Tom Smith I see he's got two sequences that I've built and I can choose the sequence that I want to analyze and say go. That'll bring up that sequence which I'll be able to do a number of things to in analyzing it which we'll go over in more detail later. Or I can compare him to either the pro golfer that we've built into the app or another pro that you've loaded or other reference sequence that you want to compare to have the two selected press go and now I'm gonna get the two golfers side by side before I go on to more detailed instruction I like to point out two important buttons that you should be familiar with to get the most out of the application the first is the help button which is represented by the question mark symbol in the upper right hand corner that's available on every screen and is very useful in giving you summary instruction and also detailed instruction on all the functions and all the buttons that are on there so you want to make sure you remember the help screens that's available throughout the application also very important to become familiar with before you start using the app is the information button represented by the I symbol in the upper left hand corner and that's going to give you a lot of valuable information about the app in general it's going to have some important links for contacting us visiting our website and a quick link to also video, view this video so you'll want to peruse this and use these links to all the different sections that give you more detail to get the most out of the app everything from taking photos to doing analysis and if you're a coach or instructor how to uh, use this app okay let's go over some basics of the app by looking at the pro golfer that we have built into the app when I go to this golfer list in the compare to frame our built-in pro golfer and model are always at the top of this list to make it easy to find so again once you've chosen a golfer and it's loaded his swing sequences onto the screen here and you can see that we've got every possible swing sequence and view for the pro golfer loaded in the app you can look at the thumbnails representing the sequences and see that they've got a name and that's optional these are the two driving sequences for the pro golfer it also shows you the number of photos in the sequence remember any number of photos between one and and the maximum number in this case ten can make up the sequence also the date that the sequence was created on or if you did any updates to the sequence that would be the last update date as well now again when we create a sequence we have to specify the swing option in this case driver and the view which is down the line face on or a couple other views that are available okay so those represent each one of those is a sequence so we can again select one of those to look at in, in more detail now what we want to think about is basically three levels of information um, for each golfer you've got the golfer level information all his name and address and golfing profile information 
And then you've got these sequences that are represented by these thumbnails. And we'll have sequence level information like the name and the number of photos and the date. And then each photo within these sequences will also have its own name and information. Okay, so let's pick one of these sequences to see what they look like. We'll pick this sequence right here, driving face on, say go. And now we're presented with the first photo in the sequence. What we've done on some of the pro sequences is done some drawing that goes along with some of the instruction in the app and also gives examples of how to draw on, on the photos. Okay, so all 10 photos are loaded right now. I'm on the first one. If we look at this screen, we can see that there's a photo level name. So again, you can name each individual photo if you want. Again, the swing option and view of this particular sequence we're in, the name of the sequence we're in, and then the photo number that we're on. In this case, one of ten. Okay, so if I advance through these photos in the sequence, you can see the name changes. Of course, the swing option and the view are going to be the same throughout the sequence. And now I'm on photo three of ten. So that photo level information is accessed through the information button on each photo in the upper right hand corner. So again, each photo can have a name. This is optional. This is the three quarters shot. And then it can have analysis that either yourself or your instructor has put in there, as well as instruction or swing thoughts. So what we've done for the pro golfer that we've loaded into the app for reference is we've loaded some analysis in there about this particular position of this particular sequence and also included some swing thoughts and instruction for you if you're using these pro models for some self instruction go back to the photo display and again, I can either step through these slowly or I can do it rapidly, kind of simulating the video motion. Now, another way to view a sequence is to use a sequence button to have the whole thing displayed together in this horizontal orientation here where all the photos in the sequence are now displayed together and you can see how the names of the photos are below the name of the sequence up here the swing option and view of the sequence in the upper left hand corner so now I'm looking at the sequence as a whole and like I had information for each individual photo, I also have information at the sequence level that again I access through the information button and you can see in a manner similar to the individual photos I can have a name for the sequence and then also have some analysis information and instruction information for the overall sequence driving in this case. So just as an example if you look at the instruction for driving it says think loose, think smooth, think confident and, and some additional instruction and swing thoughts after that. Those can all be edited as well. Um, so if you want to change the instruction or the analysis in here you just bring one of them up, you press on the screen and the keyboard comes up and then you can edit and enter information. Okay, so we press back, takes us back to the sequence display. This is also one of the places where I can edit the sequence through the edit button here if I wanted to edit the photos making up the sequence.